This video is on how to create a normal curve using Word, and then we're going to do a practice problem with it. So first we're going to click on insert and then online pictures. And here in the image search, we're going to search for a, norm a normal curve. And then I'm going to select a basic normal curve and click insert. Now here we can add additional lines to a normal curve by going to insert shapes and inserting lines. So I'm just going to fast forward and I'm going to show you one additional way on how to create a normal curve by hand in Word by using shapes. So go to insert shapes and then select this curve and then draw it by hand. Now we're going to find the probability of a z-score using the unit normal table in the curve we created. So here's our practice problem, and we're going to find what proportion of scores are more than x equals 85 with the given information. So we're going to start by inputting our given information on a normal curve. So we're going to insert a text box and insert a symbol, and now we're going to insert sigma equals 10 on our graph. Go back to insert shapes and create an arrow on our bell curve. Now inserting another text box. We're inserting our given information that mu equals 100. And lastly, we're entering our given information um, that x equals 85, so we're just inserting another line on our normal curve here. And we're going to designate here that x is 85. So these are our x values of 85 and 100. In just a minute, we're going to find our z values and insert those on our graph. So now we're going to calculate our z-score. So here I've just inserted a, text, inserted a text box, and we're going to put in our z-score formula z equals, and we're going to put parentheses, x minus mu, close parentheses, and that will be divided by sigma equals, and now we plug in our given information. So parentheses 85 minus 100, close parentheses, divided by 10, and that calculated equals negative 1.5, so that gives us our z score. Now we're going to insert our z-scores on our graph. So first I'm just designating that these are our z-scores underneath our x. And then I'm going to insert a line to put our z-scores on. And now I'm inserting two tick lines under the 85 and 100. Now I'm inserting two more text boxes to insert our z-scores of negative 1.5 and 0. Now we're going to shade in the area that we're solving for, so x is greater than 85. So I just went to Insert, Shapes, and chose the Scribble option. And here I'm just shading in everything where x is greater than 85. Now that we have our z-score, we're going to use the unit normal table to solve our, for our proportion. So we're going to look for z equals 1.5 in column A. So here's z is equals 1.5, and now the proportion is going to be in column B. Now we're using a positive 1.5 because um, a normal distribution is symmetrical, and so we can use that 0.9332 whether the z-score is negative or positive. 
Now we have our last piece of information to solve the rest of our problem. So here I'm typing in P parentheses X is greater than 85 equals. And now we can put in our Z score of the negative 1.5 and we found that, that proportion is 0.9332 and that translates to the percentage of 93.32%. And so that's how you use a normal curve in Word to solve a z-score problem.